and my name is Eric, and I come from Movert Fiber Technology Company. Today, I want to introduce our new OTDR. The model number is uh, 9000 PRO. Of course, it uh, um, with it with different configu configuration. The screen is uh, a seven seven inch. It is a very popular um, screen size in the in market. The ODDR is not only a ODDR, it also um, integrated with many other uh, um, useful functions like optical power meter. The optical power meter is with uh, uh, six wavelengths. You can press this button to change it. Also, it is with the reference and the zero setting function. It is a very professional um, power meter. The this, this one is the lighter source. You can change the wavelengths easily. And it also with um, frequency, uh, modulation frequency here. This, this one is the VF, VFL. Um, the, you can press this uh, two button to make uh, uh, it make the lighter flash. And there's uh, this one is uh, event map. It is uh, uh, just to change the ODDR's curves to be a uh, uh, readable on a pic a re imaging for new uh, ODDR user, and uh, it is, looks like that. And this one is uh, micro a uh, fiber microscope, um, but you you need to buy a a probe a probe to plug into the USB USB port uh, separately so you can uh, get the uh, fibers and the face and see images here and uh, this one is the, this button is the setting the last one is the is file okay now i um, give you details uh, about the OTDR so uh, let's see the demo. Um, three, uh, there are three uh, fiber rails. The first one is about uh, one kilometers. The second one is about uh, 40 kilometers. The last one is about uh, two kilometers. And uh, I linked them with uh, uh, fiber adapters. So I will make the test uh, by the ODDR. Um, uh, as, I, as I told you, the ODDR is very easy to use. So uh, I just uh, um, press this start button, and then it works by itself. I set the uh, testing time to be or uh, to be ten seconds. Um, but at the first or two seconds, you can see the right ODDR curves. Okay, it's the testing finished. Uh, let's see the uh, table list, uh, event list on the table. The, the first segment is one, is one kilometer. Second uh, segment is 40 kilometers. And the last one is about two. Also, you can, choose, you can see the insertion loops and the return loops here, all, all listed here. Um, but sometimes we may want to see um, details uh, on the ODDR curves. So now we can use the A or B cursor. Now we we move the cursor A. You can press this button or use your finger easily. Cursor A. And now we uh, move cursor B. Cursor B here. Now we zoom, we zoom, zoom it, zoom it on left and right. Okay, so that we can see more details, and up and down. So we can zoom this event. Uh, 
um, after the testing, we may want to uh, save it and rename it. We press this file, save as. Now we, I want to um, give it an, a name. My name is Eric, so I, I press Eric. And then press OK. Okay, now we go to the file to see the test, to see the curves we test just now. Here we can see the the curve, and uh, now we can copy it to a uh, to a computer via a USB cable and uh, print it out or um, save it as a PDF version to. Uh, also, we can review, we can see it uh, on the ODR by pressing the open button. Uh, okay, now I go to the setting page to let you see the ODR details. Here you can see the test mode, auto or manual, wavelengths. Uh, this, uh, this, this, uh, this one is with the four wavelengths, but sometimes you may, uh, yours may only with two wavelengths, the first two wavelengths. Testing range. Okay. Menu. And you can see it by yourself. Very short, 100, very long, 200. Piles. Testing time, resolution, high or standard. Unit. And the color mode. Here, so, um, if you are not very professional, you you just uh, keep them as default. Okay, and this is the main function of the ODDR. But uh, a lot to say. You can also plug your mouse to the USB port, and uh, use your mouse to control the ODDR very easily. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.